You're welcome. We want to look at identification, authentication, authorization, and accountability. These are principles that are very fundamental to information and uh, cyber security. So let's start with identification. What's identification? This is the means by which the system recognizes a user. So identification means you have to present um, a credential to the system so that the system will be able to uh, identify you. For example, you are stopped by a policeman uh, on the road and the, the policeman is asking that you should uh, identify yourself. So you bring out uh, perhaps your international passport or you bring out your, your driving license to uh, identify yourself to the police uh, man. The same way you have to identify yourself to the system uh, by presenting a credential, uh, most of the time a user ID. So a user ID has been created in the system for you. And so when you present that user ID coupled with a password, all right, this is now used by the system to identify you. It can also be a biometric, maybe your fingerprint, all right, or your, uh, your ID card, okay, if you are using that kind of a system in your organization. So basically, identify, identification is the means by which the system recognizes uh, a user, okay. Then uh, we have authentication. Now that you have identified yourself in the system, the system must validate whether your identification is uh, in order or not. So the fact that you have submitted uh, a passport, an international passport to the policeman or a driving license to the policeman does not mean that the driving license is actually valid. So the policeman has been trained to look at the driving license and they look for certain features to confirm that the driving license is valid. And that is what we mean by authentication. So the system must cross check whether the ID and password you have submitted is valid, whether they are valid. We will check whether the fingerprint you have submitted, whether it is valid or not. So the system does, it, does this uh, via various authentication methods. Uh, which we call uh, what to know, what to have, and what to have. What to know is what, you know, what is uh, memorized by you. For example, password, PIN, password. So these are authentication methods that have to be memorized by the user. And once you submit it to the system, the system needs to validate whether you are actually the person or not. Then you are what you have. So what you have is uh, what you are holding, like a token, okay? Like a token, like a card, a swipe card. So these are physical objects that you use to uh, validate your credentials. Uh, before the system can give you access to information resources. Then what you have, what you have is basically biometrics. So your retina, your iris, your fingerprints, your palm, your face, your voice, signature. Okay, so all these are physical characteristics or physiological characteristics of a user that can be used to validate uh, the credentials submitted by that uh, user. So that is what brought up what we call two-factor or multi-factor authentication. So you can use a combination of uh, any of these three, okay, minimum of two, what you know, user ID and password with what you have with the token, or what you know, user ID and password with what you have, your fingerprint. What you know is actually basically the most common uh, authentication method used globally. But now we are discovering that that is not enough because of the uh, hackers and the uh, hacking attacks, okay, brute force attacks. So you can now supplement that, especially for critical systems and network with another layer of uh, 
uh, authentication, e.g., what you have or what you have. Then we have authorization. So authorization is the means by which management approves, number one, the user. So before you can even post or have access to the system, you individually must be authorized by management. The workstation you used must also be authorized. Can I just come in my laptop, and just plug to a bot, and uh, I, I start working? Of course, that shouldn't be. So the workstation that I'm going to use in the workplace must also be authorized by management. The data I'm going to process must be authorized. So I cannot just create data and start posting any, anything into the system. So the data to be processed must be authorized. Then the source documents must also be authorized. Okay, so in many organizations, they have standard source documents. And anything that is not in that source document is deemed to be invalid. All right, so we need to get authorized source document so that everything can be formal in the organization. So I've talked about four levels of authorization, the user, the system to be used, the data to be processed, the source document must also be authorized. So the management does this through um, user access forms. For example, you, before you can be created, you have to fill a user access form which to be approved. User rights management. So based on this privilege, I need to know. So they give you rights based on your work or your role in the organization. So it's also a form of a, a authorization. Then the last is accountability. So accountability means we should be able to trace every action on the system to an individual, right? Not to a group of individuals, but to an individual. All right. In some organizations, you see them using group accounts, group user ID. So you have accounts for everybody in finance. And you have a user ID for everybody in uh, inventory management. It's wrong. Okay, so we need to be able to track who does what, who logged in, who deleted, who modified, all right, who posted, who authorized. We need to be able to trace all these in the system. So how do we achieve this user ID? So everybody in the system must have a user ID. Then there must be logs, okay? So with two logs, we should be able to track what people are doing in the system, then all the trades. So we need to be able to have such document with the retention and uh, other means of uh, being able to trace a transaction from trade to trade and from grade to trade. So basically, what I have shared in this uh, video is the principles of uh, identification, authentication, authorization, and accountability. Please subscribe to my channel. I have uh, more videos uh, to share on this channel. Thank you.